welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah and in today's video I'm going to be testing out a bunch of Halloween inspired Pinterest DIYs because I'm not sure about you but every time I go on Pinterest I am just like overwhelmed with how many awesome DIYs there are and especially around Halloween and Christmas so I decided that I'm going to test out some Halloween inspired DIYs and some of them turned out really awesome some of them turned out really not awesome at all so hopefully you guys enjoy this video and if you do make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I'm sorry that this is the first video in my Halloween series but if you follow me on Snapchat, which if you don't, my handle is at Sarah Jane Betts. I'll leave it on the screen so you can screenshot it right here. But I've been waiting for a Halloween package for like two weeks and finally it arrived. So this is my very first Halloween video. Also, I thought I'd just quickly mention that in this video, you are going to see so many outfit changes and that was not intentional. I got like crayon all over myself and then I filmed it over two days. So that's why I changed my outfit. But hopefully guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below letting me know. Hmm. Let me know if you're going to dress up for Halloween. Do you dress up for Halloween or not? And if you are dressing up for Halloween, what are you going to go as? But hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and let's get into it. Okay, so for this DIY, you're just going to need a pumpkin. Let me get mine. <laughs> You're going to need a pumpkin. Comment down below, pause the video, comment down below and let me know what DIY you think I'm gonna be doing. I'm sure you guys have seen this one before. And just in case you did have your eyes closed when you clicked on this video and you didn't see the thumbnail, then you're also going to need some crayons. We are gonna make one of those really awesome like hair dryer crayon pumpkins. Okay, so I've got my crayons. The first thing that I'm gonna do is just start taking the wrappers off because I feel like that's gonna take ages. I just finished taking off all the wrappers of all these. I'm gonna cut these in half and then I'm gonna hot glue them on and then we're gonna test out the DIY. Now time for what I've been waiting for, which is blow drying it. And I also want to point out that normally when people do this, they do it on a white pumpkin or like they paint their pumpkin white, which I didn't do. So mine's definitely not gonna look as good, but I'm still excited to do this. So let's do it. Okay, so a couple of things have happened since the last clip that I filmed. I have gotten changed because it was going all over what I was wearing, so I decided to put that in the wash. I also decided to move into the kitchen and do this in the sink because it was making so much mess. It was getting all over the sheets and everything, so that's what I went ahead and did. And I also created a bit of a mess because some sides look way better than others. Like, look at this side just here, guys. It's all, like, blended in, so I can kind of understand why people do this on, like, a white pumpkin because I just feel like it would look way way better. If you do try this out, I probably recommend to not put like colors that mix into an ugly color next to each other because like that will happen and it doesn't look good. But I don't think this was a fail DIY. I just think that I failed at it. When I was looking for DIYs to test out, I saw this like a really awesome ghost that actually looks like it's floating like a real life ghost. And I got so excited because you actually don't need a whole bunch of stuff to actually make it. All you need is some balloons. You're also going to need some cornstarch. I've got baby powder that actually says pure cornstarch. I don't even know what cornstarch is. Cornstarch. And then lastly, you need a muslin cloth. One cup of cornstarch. This is just like not off to a good start, but two cups of water. So I've got myself a little water jug over here so I don't have to go to the kitchen. Two cups of water. Okay, I need to go get myself a spoon. So even though I had a water jug in here, I did not have a spoon. So be right back. There is so much powder in the air. I feel like I'm suffocating. <laughs> So Kane just informed me that I have this stuff in my eyebrow, so I'm gonna go put this in the microwave, fix my eyebrow, and I'll be right back. <laughs> so I guess it's meant to look like this. This is what the picture looks like. But in the meantime, I'm gonna set up my station for actually making this. So I'm just gonna use this like cylinder vasey kind of thing, and I'm gonna blow up a balloon and put it on top. Oh, balloons taste so bad. Urgh. Okay, I think that's better. There's so much of this stuff. I was like trying to take it out of the packet, and I was like, why is that? This is so gross. <laughs> Ugh, this like so sticky, like the hardest glue ever. It's so wet and cold. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how this looks. I'm gonna leave it to dry, but before that, I'm just gonna put on one more layer, but I'll come back and show you guys how it looks tomorrow. We'll put some eyes on it if it works, and we'll see how it goes. Finally, the ghost has finished drying and it took so long for all the fabric that puddled up at the bottom to finish drying, but finally it's done. So what I'm gonna do is take this little pin here and I'm gonna pop the balloon and I've been waiting to do this for so long. So let's do it. Oh. <laughs> Are you listening to this guys? So the balloon did 
of pop. It's just like letting the air out slowly, which is such a bummer. Well, that was very anticlimactic. Sorry about that. I was expecting this big pop explosion, but nothing. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what to do. I can't get it off. It's like fully stuck. Like when I try and put my hand down the side of it, it's like, nope, you're not coming in, Sarah. I've been so excited about this DIY. Oh my gosh, hope may not be lost, guys. Kane's gonna go get a metal ruler and I'm gonna try and like, kind of like saw it out of here. I still don't think it's gonna work without actually breaking it, but we have hope still. But I think I might be able to get it off. Oh, that was so cool. I can't believe I got that off. There was no way I thought I was gonna get this off. But how cool does this look, guys? I have a ghost, guys. I'm so excited. I honestly just thought that that wasn't gonna work at all. So if you guys do decide to do this DIY, then what I'm doing right now is cutting out some like little felt ovals that I'm gonna put on as eyes. I am so impressed with how this DIY turned out, guys. Like I, I definitely didn't think it was gonna work when I couldn't get it out of the jar. But oh my gosh, this is so cool. And if I do this again, I'm probably gonna make like three but different sizes. So then I've got like a family. I don't know. I just think this is so cute and I really didn't expect it to work and it did. <laughs> okay guys, so I thought it would be a super fun idea to actually test out a Halloween recipe. So I have decided to make some slice and bake cookies that have like a little pumpkin design on the inside. This could go so wrong if you haven't seen slice and bake cookies and they're basically like a roll of cookie dough that you cut open and then you have this awesome design on the inside. So I'm just gonna start off with showing you guys my already prepped cookie dough. I feel like I'm on one of those cooking shows where they just like whip out all the stuff that's already done and you're like if only cooking was actually that easy well it wasn't I made this like two seconds ago <laughs> so just in case you guys did want to make these cookies I will leave the recipe down in the description below it's super basic all you want to do is separate it into three portions I think I'm definitely capable of doing this without hurting myself okay so on the recipe it says to leave two aside so I'm just gonna move those over here and then with this one you want to take a little piece of it and put some green food coloring in it I don't even how much to add <laughs> that's a lot and then on another piece you want to put some orange food coloring in it so I've got my food coloring okay so now is when the recipe gets really cool we get to roll it out I've got a rolling in it right here I'm gonna roll out the orange in like a thick slab and then the green is in like a really thin slab and then you take a cookie cutter cut it out and then you have the best pumpkin ever so I'm so excited I feel like I'm gonna screw this up but when you do it you basically just want to get the little tip bit in the green and the rest of it in the orange oh that one was real bad <laughs> Kane's face right now is like, what did you just do? Ta-da! Here is my stack. I just have to now cover it in like the plain dough that I had from earlier. This is just like something that has so many steps. I just cannot see this going right. This recipe I thought was gonna take me like a good half an hour to make. And guys, I've honestly been filming this for like two hours. I just actually have to put some sprinkles on it and then put it in the fridge or the freezer. I'm gonna go for the freezer so it can like set and then I can start slicing it up and cook it in the oven. It's the next day. I just took this out of the fridge. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Firstly, I'm gonna cut the edges off because they're super messy. And then I'm gonna cut like the actual cookie pieces and hopefully there is a pumpkin inside, but I have so many doubts, guys. I don't think there's gonna be a pumpkin inside here. I think it's just gonna be like a blob with a little small green blob on top. Oh, it's upside down. Oh, it's so ugly. <laughs> I don't know, I guess it kind of worked. Maybe I'm just super unskilled at making cookies. I feel like it's not gonna work. I mean, clearly that's a good indication that it's not gonna work. Oh, I'm so sad. I honestly thought that maybe in the center I didn't ruin them, but I cut all of them out. None of them look like pumpkins, but I'm still gonna cook them. Hopefully they taste good. If not, then this was a massive fail, but I'm gonna go put these in the oven. Okay, here are my cookies freshly out of the oven. They smell so good. They look so bad. I've got one that actually kind of looks like it could be a pumpkin if you like looked at it with one of your eyes closed and tilted your head. I think it's this one. Is it this one? Where's my good pumpkin? I think this is my good pumpkin. This is as good as it got guys. And the cookie isn't even round so. <laughs> Okay, to be real guys, I have no idea what I did to these cookies, but they didn't turn out in any aspect because they actually don't taste good. I have no idea what I did, but they're so dry, even though there was so much butter in them, and I only put them in the oven for like six minutes, so this is such a fail. Kane is honestly just cracking up laughing because that's how bad they are, and maybe I won't leave the recipe in the description because this is not good. <laughs> 
So that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. I'm kind of sad that two out of three failed. However, the ghost was so cool that I feel like it makes up for it. Before you go, don't forget to leave your comment down below letting me know if you want to dress up for Halloween this year and if so, what you're going to dress up as. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure to do so because I have a costume video going up super, super soon and I don't want you guys to miss out. So make sure to subscribe. Also, give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye.